Hello doers, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about replenishment method for manufacturing. When it comes to replenishment method for manufacturing, Odoo offers a flexible approach that defines how the materials are replenished and how the production orders are created. So let's walk through an example of manufacturing a wooden chair. Let's say you're managing a manufacturing company of wooden chair and you need to replenish certain components. In order to replenish these components, first you have to set a reordering rule. And reordering rule defines how and when the components must be replenished. In order to set this replenishment rule or reordering rule, first you need to set a minimum quantity and a maximum quantity. Minimum quantity defines when the replenishment rule must be triggered to stock the components and maximum quantity never overstock the components. So let's see how can we manage replenishment method for manufacturing in Odoo 16 manufacturing module. Let's get into the manufacturing module and we are going to manufacture a wooden chair. So in order to manufacture the wooden chair, first we need to replenish the log stock quantities of wooden chair, leg and wooden panel. So let's first consider the products that are main product is wooden chair which we are going to manufacture and you can see the other products to manufacture or the components that require to manufacture the wooden chair or wooden panel and chair leg. So we need to consider a pillar of material for wooden chair. So let's get into the wooden chair and you can see that we have already configured a pillar of material in order to manufacture the wooden chair. So once you get into the uh, wooden chair bill of material, you can see that we have to set the BOM type as manufacture of this product. So we are going to manufacture wooden chair and you can see there are two components in order to manufacture the wooden chair, which is chair leg and wooden panel. Now we also need to designate the vendors. So let me get into the components and you can see that under the purchase tab, we can designate the vendors and here we have two vendors and you can just uh, drag and uh, yeah, drag up and drag down the vendors. So the vendor in the first row will be, uh, I mean, supplying or we will be purchasing the components from that vendor. So I'm setting the vendor as Abigail Peters and so I will be purchasing the product or the component chair like from this vendor. Okay. And we also need to set a reordering rule. So here I have already created a reordering rule. So under reordering rule, I need a minimum quantity of 10 and a maximum quantity of 100. So you can set all this information as that of same for the other component in the bill of materials, which is yes, wooden panel. And now let's create a manufacturing order for this product. So you can just dive into the operations and we can see manufacturing orders and you would be able to see the manufacturing orders here. You can just click on new in order to create a new manufacturing order. So let me choose the bill of material, which is wooden chair. Now, when you choose the wooden chair, you can see that we have log quantity of the components, wooden chair leg and wooden panel. So let me save this and confirm the order. So as I have confirmed the manufacturing order, a purchase order or an RFQ will be automatically triggered under the purchase module. So because we have set a reordering rule in order to generate an RFQ automatically as we don't have sufficient quantities of components to uh, manufacture the product wooden chair. Now let's back an RFQ is automatically created and you can see the source documents over here and you can choose that. So once you choose the source documents, you would be able to see the components over here with the maximum quantity. And here you can see the quantity as 104 for chair leg and wooden panel as 101 quantity. Here, this is because we have just given the number of quantities that we want under the bill of material is four and wooden panel is one. And we have set a reordering rule with a maximum quantity of 100 in both components. And with the symbol max, you can see that the quantity is calculated by Odoo. 
Now let's confirm the order and you can receive the product. Okay, so we are going with the process. And finally, we have 10 and you can see the valuation. After that, you can just move on to the manufacturing and under the manufacturing order. Sorry, this is not the order. You can choose the order that is wooden chair and you can see the component status is currently available and you can proceed with the manufacturing order. Now you can just click it as mark as 10 because we are done with the manufacturing and you would be seeing all the changes such as the traceability, product movement, valuation and cost analysis. So you can just dive into each of the smart tab and you can see uh, the product wooden chair from production to stock with one quantity has moved and under the product moves you could be able to see uh, the, the total quantity which means wooden panel and wood chair leg has moved and we have just manufactured one quantity of wooden chair and you can see under valuation, we have just got the components in negative symbols uh, or sign with the wooden panel and wooden chair and we have just manufactured one quantity with the wooden panel and wooden chair. And last but not least, we are going to discuss about the cost analysis and this shows the cost analysis of the product. And as we haven't said the unit cost, that is set to zero right now. You can only view the quantity right now here and you can see you have just manufactured one wooden chair in simple step. That is pretty cool, right? Hope this video was worth for you. As always, stay awesome.